Yeah, to set off like a train there, and he's probably going to have to do the same here. A win for Price would reiterate his current status, but for MVG, this would go a long, long way into his quest in refilling his trophy cabinet. George Noble, referee, celebrating his birthday Idiot. today. Happy birthday, George. Yes, absolutely. First of many, you suspect. Yeah, that's a great start from the world number one. 135. Well, it's got the makings of a classic, Clash of the Titans. And as you said, John, it's going to have to go a long way to do anything as good as or better than that previous encounter. Outstanding in terms of quality. Got to win your equal one, 92. And played in a really good spirit. I think whatever you say about fear or whatever that the two players have 52. been talking about in the run up to this, I think the underlying fact is that there is a terrific amount of respect between the two. 139. Got to win your equal one, 40. Just in case. But he's got the first see it. Get a little Second bit of a roar there. Rovers. He's not quite turned up the volume yet, has he? He will do. And mighty oh, Michael will want to oh, respond oh, immediately. Oh, one apiece on the maximums now. Might be 2 1 in a second. Oh, Almost. Yeah, it's great to see players of this calibre going toe to toe. We saw it in that last encounter. And until that last dart went in, he didn't really know which way it was going to go. That's how good both players were. 100. Well, Chris stuck his neck out and said that he thought that Gerwin was the likely winner of this. One of you uh, committed yourself one way or the other, Alan? Did he say Gerwin or Van Gerwin? <laughs> was he it was Gerwin. edging his bets, knowing Chris? <laughs> oh, that's his second. Heavyweight blows being exchanged. 84. Well, so so small misses, John. Could be the difference. Double 12. Sixes. And the break of throw. Gerwin Price. Third leg, Gerwin to throw first. Game off. At this moment in time, Michael won't be too worried in terms of the way he's playing, but just that one dart at the double has been the difference. He missed. 140. Price didn't. One hundred. You sense that there's not going to be a lot between them in scoring power as the match unfolds. 140. And those doubles, that, as Alan says, could be where it is going to be determined. 100. When you're at the top of the game, John, you don't miss the doubles. When you're just trying to get your game back, you can just miss the odd time as we... Yes, only one leg, but that one dart has made the difference between 1-1 one, one and 2-0. 94, get a ring you require, 116. Up to the top of the board. He's on the third leg. A 12 data. Michael to throw first. Michael under a bit of early pressure. One His second maximum. Two. Yes, but he needs to get a leg on the board. Quickly. He's playing well. Kevin Price is just not missing. 135. <laughs> 58. Don't want to mention the averages because I've no, put the mockers on it. But don't do that. I won't mention them. I'm just saying they're astronomical. 96. <laughs> 
early days as well, of course. There'll be plenty of twists and turns as this one unfolds. Fifty. Well, surely he's going to get onto the board now, isn't he? But he knows that Price will be on his shirt tail. One hundred and forty, Michael. You require forty tops. Beautifully done, Michael Engel. and that'll settle him down. I needed that for the obvious reason, but from my point of view, hitting it first out was just as important. One hundred and ninety. I'll tell you what, Alan. Just to make you happy, let's see if we can slide the averages onto the onto the screen. There you are, one hundred and twenty. Jesse and rising 111 Michael van Gerwen and five maximums and we're in leg five. break at the end of this leg MVG had absolutely loved to break this throw price doesn't look in the mood does he nine to 44 no I don't think either player has done much wrong the only thing you could nitpick on is that one dart at the double in leg two. And there it is. Doubling beautifully. Finishing superbly. Scoring just hugely. He's absolutely showing everybody what he can do. We've seen it so often. Five legs played. Five maximums and look at the finishing legs there. 11, 12, 12, 13 and 13. Outstanding for both. From Price's point of view, just reiterating to everybody why he is one hundred and forty. This is a serious match. 121. Not the money, but the bragging rights. Oh, Jackie mentioned that earlier about the winning the trophy. I said, no, it's winning this match is the important thing from the point of view of both players at this moment in time. Oh, goodness me. Another one. Number four, sixth of the match. Oh, how about that as a response? Tops, tops. What a way to put 80 away. Well, after that maximum from Gezi to hit that, just starts 60. getting the tension and the aggression from both now. There's a fair bit of shouting starting now. MVG has touched the real takeoff button, and you sense. Well, I'm sure our tonsils will need lubricating later, but after this match, you feel that the players on stage will also need it. Well, this is brilliant now, responding. Back to back maximums for Michael Van Gerwen. The nine darter is on, two perfect visits. Now he needs 141 for the break of throw. Not this time, a few oohs and ahs from the crowd that have loved to have seen that. 50. And Michael's a bit disgusted with that. I think it was more the last dart. He obviously didn't hit the nine, but going that route he did, as Price looks for another, hitting a single five, just put a dent in it, but it shouldn't be too much of a drama. Double ten. And, and the break of throw. Michael, oh, this is brilliant. to throw first. If you like watching darts, this is what you want to see. The back to back to back. Sorry, Alan. Go back on, to back. Eight Twelve one. darters off after the break. Yeah. Well, he needed to to do it as well, but getting the response from his own point of view will be fantastic for the rest of the game for both players. Just look at the finishing legs there. Worst leg, thirteen darts, and we're in leg eight. Like watching me on PlayStation. The standard is just stunning. Sixty. Yeah, no 
May start downstairs with the first. May stay there now. He's got. Well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is going to say he's going to try and get all three. And the answer was there in about two seconds. This will do, Michael, a lot of good in lots of different ways, John, not just in terms of this match so far, but in terms of his mental game over the last couple of years where things haven't quite been right. We know that. He can only put it right on the hockey. Oh, that's perfection. My view of 40. Tops then to square up the match. And he does for all. This Lovely. is turning Two, out to be oh, everything that we hoped it would be. And it's not stopping now either. This is brilliant to watch. Absolutely hitting each other with everything. 100. You can't really nitpick at anything in terms of a mistake, John. We said that the one dart at double in that first session. That's Michael, his first throw. So that's just really nitpicking. Anything else has been just outstanding. Look at the averages there. Monster averages. Well, it's not as if we're in the first couple of legs either. We're in the ninth. And it's not letting up either. 123. So disappointed that he didn't pick up yet another maximum there. 91. So 157 for 5 4. He will be back. Van Gerwen not on a finish yet. Ninety-nine. Well, Gezi looking to stop the rock. Lost the last three legs, but he was four one ahead at the time. One hundred and seventy-seven. Well, makes this get a win you require fifty-eight. 58 pretty much a, a must get. He's got two darts at tops now. Very proficient on top. So uh, there's a roar. Templick Michael do three. Both of them are mightily charged up. And Van Gerwen, as Alan says, stops 95. Reeling off the reeling off the legs. Gerwin stopped the rot. Well, from the way the game has gone, going in at five apiece would be outstanding 85. from Michael Van Gerwen's point of view. Still a bit of work to do though, and the way these two are scoring, you cannot let up at any point during the leg. Gerwin drops a lot of darts, doesn't he? For a rugby player who would once upon a time have thrived on his handling skills, there's a lot of darts wind up on the floor. Sometimes that can happen if you just rush too much, maybe. Michael just settling himself down. 60. Where the game's gone, that's almost a slip. But the last couple of visits, though, I guess he has just lost his scoring. Break at the end of this leg. Michael so badly wants to take this and make it level. The treble is eluding both players. 134. Michael has got him back 52. into the leg. Michael on the finish here. Double 16. 96. 145 then for the break of throw for for Price. Can't be done now. So Van Gerwen will come back with 56 required. 45. My view of 56. By the wonderful standards that Price has been producing, that was a poor visit. Well, the important thing from his point of view, he's left the straight ton. There's an important dart. And Michael Van Gerwen nails that double 10. Out of six on checkouts for Price. Five out of nine for Van Gerwen, and it's four maximums apiece. One and just look at those stats there, nine. phenomenal. Ooh. And there is the ninth 180 of the match.
Oh, this, is, this is absolutely oh, brilliant to watch. 40. Pleasure to commentate on. If this was an earlier round, it would be a last leg decider, but still six legs to get oh, to that final oh, position of a semi-final oh, spot. Oh, Price. Could it be back-to-back -back 180s from Gerwin Price now looking for the elusive nine data? It's not, though, just launching that fractionally high. There was a great moment in a, a recent European oh, two when he was on a nine dart, and it, the last dart for the nine, he stopped and turned around to the crowd and, and really got a really good response from the crowd, and he oh, wired the double. Oh, well, this is brilliant. Nine darts. And they're side by side, and Price gets in there with a 10 dart, the best of the match so far. Well, just toe to toe now, isn't it? Heavyweight slugging match. This is about as good as darts gets. Can't disagree with you there, John. And just that start. Both players there, 40 and 41 left after nine apiece. I think we can safely say that both players are up for this. <laughs> that is uh, understatement of the day. 96. Absolutely on a knife edge. In every sense of the word, the game is in the balance. 100. Well, Price took the first session 4-1. Michael responded in that second one. I think, to be fair, overall, uh, the first two sessions shared up five apiece was probably about right. Yep, wouldn't disagree with that. 97. Might so 1-1-4 one, one, for the holder throw for Van Gerwen. 14 for tops. Well, if, if there's a sense That's of inevitability about Very that. Fast. 12 data, and again, darting perfection from Van Gerwen. Brilliant checkout. 100. Both players will be very much aware that their opponent is on it as well. So it's a case of just continuing the way you're playing and try and take the chances when they come your way. 137. There was a final in Dubai when Gary Anderson and Michael Van Gerwen both averaged 110. At the moment, that is, this is going beyond that. Look at that overall average, 114 against 111. And it's the 13th leg of the match. Yes, I remember that game very well. Oh, good thinking from Price. Oh, oh my goodness. On the 13th leg. Get a Just Price. terrific from Michael Price. Right Didn't need to go the bull route from the 19. So that's why I have trouble 15. Yes, yeah, quite often you see somebody with a big average and it's not followed up by the opponent, but when you're getting two players doing it 96. all the way through the match, it's a joy to see. 100. Both of them with the point 100. to prove in this match. You almost sense that it means more to them, this match, than actually winning the tournament. Well, I said earlier 100. on, from my point of view, winning this match is probably more important to Michael at this moment in time just for his progression back to where he used to be. Just look at those checkout stats. Price 88%, Van Gerwen 60%. 44, Michael, you require 170. Well, this was, I was just going to say put the icing on the cake in the match so far, but it's all about the setup. 120. Now. It's not bad, is it? After hitting treble one with the first one, still leaves 50. We're going to have to do a magnet 57. check. Michael, you require 50. 50 needed. He didn't want to one. Now double 16. Just a lapse 18. of concentration there, but that ultimately means you missed the double as well. Fortunately, from his point of view, because he's not on a finish. 
the way he's playing, he probably would have taken it out. 100. So double 16. 32. After a rare error in this match, but Van Gerwen still the favourite to square the match up. He's and on the full does so. Mike Van Gerwen, 15 leg, got a win to throw over. Look at those averages. Look at that. Keep going, boys. 140. Still a way to go, though. Tension 57. could play its part as we near the finishing line. Yes. I think from the crowd point of view as well, it's better for both players 39. because there's, they're just enjoying the darts. There's, there's no one-sidedness or, or booing, for instance. They're just enjoying the quality up there on the big stage. Which is also good to see as well. Van Gerwen sixth and the twelfth of the match. 58. Disappointment from Gezi there. Now, this is an opportunity. If Van Gerwen can leap all over this, and he does so. 134. He knows the importance of that. 130. A makeable checkout. Because he needs another one here, you feel. Oh, not that one. Michael, you well, a single 30. 20 would have been okay. Just drifted to the left. Oh, perfect. Double eight. Yeah, what yeah, about that? 130. Treble 20, treble 18, double eight. And he just didn't blink. Blink. Absolute right. certainty in the way in which he approached it. Quality with a capital Q. Four finishes over the ton there, two from each player. Twelve Thanks. maximum, six apiece. Forty-three. Have you finished? <laughs> I've fallen off my chair. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> Outstanding to watch. One hundred. That's an illustration of the scoring power. You probably, uh, if you've not got your television uh, volume switched up, you probably just about heard Alan in the distance. My disappointment is there's been no bull shots. There's yeah, 130. <laughs> Needs all three to leave. 138. 140. Still a good score, though. Keeps him on the same street. Down he comes. 135. Again, an immaculate setup for Van Gerwen. 96. Michael, you're the crucial point 40. of the match. This would put him within a leg of victory. Now, no score. talked about tension. Is that just a little Get bit a of a sign of precisely two. that? Well, it's not as if they're a long way off, but the bottom line is they missed nine, seven, eight apiece. Completely different story. He's on the sixteen flag. Got a win. And a great response from Price. It's the break back. He toyed with the idea of the big roar. Didn't need to though. Seventeen flag. Self-evident. I said it was relief, but Game his on. chance came and he took it. The averages have just come down a little. A mere 108 now. A mere paupers. 57. Not exactly lurching towards mediocrity, is it? How much will those three doubts at double top affect Michael Van Gerwen in the remainder of this match? He had his chance there. It's gone 9-7 up, one leg away. There are three well-thrown darts. He didn't miss by a deal, but it was just oh, fractions. fractions. That's all it takes in this game. But there's definitely 100. just that edge at this moment in time, almost expected. It's almost an old-fashioned darts crowd, isn't it? They're just gripped by the brilliance of what they're witnessing. And clapping good scores, just enjoying the entertainment. The quality, the rivalry. 34. Going on a makeable checkout, 89. 
100. What a response, though. 34. Superb. Right, 89, nine. Alan. Yeah, got to do it. Oh, that is gold dust with the first dart. Just got to keep his composure. Normally pretty good. Oh, 81. this time it's going prices. Van Gerwen, 56. And a great chance, a great time opportunity here miss. now for Michael Van Gerwen. Double 18. And he takes it. Look what it means. Michael Van Gerwen. Look what it means to Michael Van Gerwen. Now he can serve it out for the match. Game on. Well, the last two legs, uh, you can see from Gerwin there, he knows he missed a good opportunity. When that treble 19 went in, almost thought that the double would Nine automatically. Six. There was a little touch of fists, I think, before this leg began. I think at one point we thought it was a last leg. 81. I can understand the confusion with the amount of stuff that's been going on up there. But whatever happens in the 96. last leg or last two legs, both players have to be applauded. It has been an epic confrontation. 140. It's been a lesson of how to play darts at the highest level. Brilliant. 139. On a finish, you might get your bull that you're craving. 170 required. Well, so prices. two treble twenties and. Well, price is on a finish. Not on a finish. So will he go for it? Oh, doesn't have to now. 98. Because <laughs> he needs a 140 to apply the pressure. Oh, it's not coming. He needs to treble badly. 60. Not Michael there. Levine, so 72. 72 for the match for Michael Van Gerwen. Treble 16 for double 12. Got That's it. it. Two darts to double 12. One on the wire. There it is. <laughs> Michael Van Gerwen <laughs> has beaten <laughs> his arch rival who sportingly applauds. Great match. Both averaging over 107. Van Gerwen proves his point and beats the world number one.